How far have we come? Ever since the Civil Rights Movement in 1964, people have been believing that all races are treated equally. However, is this really the case? While it is true that African Americans no longer have to ride on different areas of the bus, there are still many problems they face regarding things such as poverty, education, and unemployment. Much has been accomplished, but is it enough? Let me stop. Even though the United States still doesn't have total racial equality or fairness, even after 60 years, the civil rights movement has accomplished several things. First, segregation in schools has ended. This was because in 1954, Oliver Brown complained how his black daughter was refused admission into an all-white school. This turned into a Supreme Court case which ended segregation in schools. No longer was separate but equal being applied. Instead, all men are created equal was being used. After the desegregation of schools and towns, the nation decided to start integrating these two American cultures. Now that people agreed that colored entrances should not be used, people began to come together even more. The segregated water fountains and bathrooms and such began to slowly merge into public facilities for all races. There were still stubborn people who refused to be become part of the movement, but for the most part, people started to respect African Americans and treated them equally, which resulted in a non-racist society that we live in today. Birmingham, Alabama is a city that was very important for the struggle of civil rights. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. went there to protest against segregation but was arrested and put in jail, which is why it is so important. It was also one of the places the Freedom Riders stopped. It was where they were attacked by an angry mob. Birmingham, Alabama is also a very deeply segregated city. This city is a good example of where and when the Civil Rights Act was needed, as many demonstrations took place there to stop segregation and racial discrimination. Even though the Civil Rights Movement succeeded in many things and got the African American community the rights they deserved, the Civil Rights Movement also left a great deal of important issues out that are still relevant today. One such thing is the fact that far more African Americans are still living in poverty. In fact, 9% of Caucasian Americans live in poverty while whopping 25% of African Americans do. Also, the average income of a white family is around $55,000, while the average for a black family is only about $34,000. Most African Americans couldn't even pay poll taxes to vote. All this means is that Caucasians have more of the country's money than African Americans. This lack of money means that paying for college is much more difficult for an African American. That, in effect, means that African Americans don't get hired for jobs as often because of their lack of a diploma. The cycle begins again when an African American can't get a good job. This setback can be traced back to the end of the Civil War when President Abraham Lincoln failed to give African Americans everything he had promised, such as large amounts of land and many jobs. Although he did large amounts of work to make everyone equal and was the first of many to fight for equal rights for African Americans. Unfortunately, before the Civil Rights Act and Brown versus Board of Education case, segregation in schools was very popular. In fact, it was law. There are a few reasons why schools were segregated, and more specific, why white schools didn't want African American students in their schools. First, based on statistics, schools decided that African Americans were less likely than white students to get a GED. Therefore, the average passing rate of the school would decrease, which would discourage parents to let their children go to that school. Besides that, Having African Americans in their school would increase the school population and in turn increase the cost to run the school. If you use all these words, you could virtually summarize what the civil rights movement was all about. First off, when separate but equal was strongly enforced, African Americans had trouble paying poll taxes so they couldn't voice their opinion very well. Second, Jim Crow laws were used before the movement to segregate African Americans. Third, marshals were needed to protect Ruby Bridges because people were angry that a black person was being put into the recently integrated school. Fourth, during the civil rights movement, many people protested against segregation. Two famous events where this happened are the bus boycott where Rosa Parks refused to follow the rule that black people have to sit in the back of the bus. Also, another event is when the Freedom Walkers protested in Montgomery, Alabama. Finally, the Civil Rights Act was passed in 1964 to ban segregation in most public places. Here, we have a timeline to show many of the most prominent events of the Civil Rights Movement, starting with the Brown vs. Board of Education case. 
As we move through the years, we can see all the successes that the movement had, like the desegregation of Little Rock, Arkansas in 1957, and of New Orleans in 1960. As we move onward through the years, we can see that in 1964, the Civil Rights Act was passed. But, as time progresses, we see that there were many failures in upholding the act, such as the Los Angeles riots and, frighteningly recently, the Ferguson, Missouri events. So, the question still remains, was the Civil Rights Movement successful? Well, after reviewing the evidence, it is our conclusion that, yes, it was successful. Why? Well, it's now socially acceptable to have, be white and have black friends, neighbors, teachers, doctors, and even public transportation drivers. Though there still are some economic inequalities, we've still come pretty far.